Hi guys, this is Lisa from Local King Robertson. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is actually the second part of our stamping cruise on board project, a recap for the non traveler. So if you haven't got a chance to watch the first part, make sure you check it out. And then here you go, that's our second part, the another four car project. Let's start it. Okay, so the first car we are going to working on this uh, octopus car. This is actually our make and take project. So in my last video, I was actually ask, asking you guys, we have to find a name for octopus. So here is the name. We are going to call our octopus Oliver in memory of a little white dog who lived in Alaska. So meet our Oliver. And then um, after I uh, um, record this uh, video, I actually uh, kind of missed out the, some part of that. So I'm going to show you how to coloring. And then so this is the, uh, or stamp image is the, actually the seaweed here is a shadow stamp. So, and then uh, with the PNG file, if you have a die cut machine, you can easily die cut this one. The good thing about the digital die machine is you can change the size, you can stretch a little bit, you can change the um, change the shape. So, but a lot of things digital cannot do as a, like a rubber stamp, like original rubber stamp. So um, we are going to coloring and I'm going to use a magic mushroom. And then we are going to just use at least the pear tart. And then I'm going to just uh, pick up some color. We're going to just uh, Drop directly on top. And then we are going to use a little bit darker color. And this paper is just a recollection and a 100 pound. I found that it's very smooth. And then the next clip is going to show you how you can clean your magic mushroom because uh, I want to use my magic mushroom. I want to use a lighter color again. So somehow the video was uh, um, kind of messed up. So I recorded this part again. So it's going to show you how you can clean your magic mushroom and then you want to use your lighter color again. Okay, so you have some clean water. And then here is your magic mushroom. You just uh, gently kind of dipping just the sponge part inside the water and then um, just do a few times like Lee and then you have a spinach juice okay just a few times don't soaking the whole um, mushroom inside the water because the tube is going to pick up the water sometime maybe the water stuck there is going ruin your hour and then I just so um I don't I can't really do that okay so that's just a uh, squeeze the water out and we have a uh, spinach juice and then before you use your magic mushroom again what you're gonna do is have a one dry cloth and so on your cloth it doesn't really have a color right and then let's see do we clean our magic mushroom okay brush brush and there you go so you get your light green back again so if you want to save some time what you can do is just oh uh, do both together and then you can just add your second color I usually suggest people rubbing your impact instead of tapping but I only have a two hand so I have to hold it so kind of just uh, tap. Okay, so that's uh, our um, seaweed. And or you can just uh, wipe off. If you want to completely clean your magic mushroom, do the things I just show you. Um, you don't have to clean your magic uh, mushroom every time you use it. Um, that way you probably will shorten your mushroom's life so only when it's necessary okay and then next we are going to give our oliver some color and then i think that looks so pretty isn't it so here is our black cardstock and then here is our seaweed we just mount on top one of them we are we just uh, we are going to just use uh, this uh, Nuvo 
new bow, new bow, new bow, new bow. I think they can use it as a glue too. Even though um, my friend, they told me, you know, these uh, stamping crews, a few of my friends, they coming from the Savannah too. We had a wonderful time because uh, I didn't really shopping at the show, but they did. So after the show, we actually went back to hotel and they did their make um, show and tell. So I actually got a lot of information from their shopping. I They actually recommended some glue. It's called the bear or something. I don't know. Let me go get it. I haven't got a chance to, to try it. I, I ordered it from Amazon. I didn't buy it from the show, but they just keep telling me it's a, the best glue ever. So it's the Barely Arc. Have you guys tried this uh, yet? It's a little bear. That's cute. So they say this is a very, very good uh, glue and then they won't clog, but uh, I haven't tried it yet. So they told me it's good. So <laughs> I just take their word. I, I, I guess on too. So it was so fun when they did their show and tell. Um, if you are joining us next year, we all stay at the same hotel. And then after the show, after dinner, we will get back to show each other what we get. So next year I am planning, I am going to do some shopping too. I didn't really have anything to show. Okay, so and then the next we are going to color all over. I am going to just do a quick coloring coloring so we can you know what actually I am going to cheat a little bit I am going to just use a magic mushroom so I am going to use a little bit um cantaloupe I thought this is yellow but actually is a kind of like orange so I'm going to just uh, kind of rub a little bit color on top okay drawing a little circle it's a blending tool. The blending you supposed to blend, right? So how you blend by tapping. So you got to blend, blend, blend. Sometimes I borrow a little bit ink from my surface. So that's the first color and don't even bother to clean the magic mushroom because I already show you how you can clean, right? So don't be afraid, tools are meant to use. So that's try to hide or mark. So how do you like uh, Oliver so far? Okay. And then always uh, keep your working station clean. It's just a force hobby. And then if you want to, let's take this one away. If you want to, we can use uh, any kind of markers. Just give a little bit touch out if you want to. So just uh, because we already have a foundation color, right? So even though you just uh, cover with uh, a single color, just add a little bit. Oops, accidentally hit my microphone. Okay. Mm. Something wrong with me. I actually like this alcohol smell. It's just like a, those are stays on. Okay, I think that's good enough. And then we are going to just use uh, the white gel paint. To give a little bit highlight on the suction cup. And then we are going to do a googly eyes. So start with the white, not googly eyes, the 3D eyeball. So start, it's just like icing the cookies. So we start with the light color, not light color, white color. Give a little bit yellow. And black. Look at 3D eyeball. Really cute. So do you like all of it? Okay, so that's the first one. And then put your final project somewhere else because, uh, you know, because. 
because it definitely acts that you will accidentally ruining that eyeball that beautiful eyeball okay and then when you finish you just kind of shuffle these uh not least oliver here and then he he is uh hiding over there and i have at least a little tag going to just using this one And that's uh, our first car. If you want to shovel a little bit Angelina fiber in the back, you can do that too. So this is just another idea. Is just a one seaweed with a two um, side turtle. And then one is uh, hiding inside the seaweed, one is a uh, swing on top of that. So that's uh, our first car. And I hope you like our Oliver. Okay, the second car is going to be this jellyfish uh, um, car. And then this jellyfish one is uh, or one of our stamp set. It's called You Are So Jelly. It's a 2021 for um, spring. I designed this one. And then we are going to actually, we're going to grab the stamp first. So we are going to pick up the bubbles. Okay, and uh, put my bubbles here. They're too small. I have to put the bubbles here. Okay, and then this is the stamp image with the die cut. The we are so jelly. It does come with the die cut. So we have a die cut here already. And then this one is uh, the digital image. So what you can do is uh, you can stamp your image and then um, scan them, make it bigger. Or if you have a digital die cut machine, um, you can you don't have to worry about you can just scan it and then the digital machine will read the PG uh, pack file and then PGS file and then you can do any adjustment. Um, I don't want to talk too much about the digital die cut image um, in this video. If you want to get more information or like to learn how to do it. Make sure you send me an email, let me know, and I will create a meeting and uh, I will talk about a little bit more about the, how this digital stuff working. And then, um, that's it. So first, we are going to stamping all bubbles. I have, uh, when I want to stamp, I use uh, these versifying ink pad most of the time. And then when I want to blend in the color, I will use uh, the memento. So here is uh, my bubbles and um, I have a few fish. This is a fun or another set called the uh, something bear. Okay, and I'm gonna put that away. And then you are going to create a you can see our sample car, my bubble is kind of masking. How did I do that? So this is what I do is uh, I am using the bubbles uh, die cut. You can see, you can cut a piece of paper or if you have some this kind of material Mara for the stencil, you can do that too. So that way you can also, you can use your jellyfish this jellyfish, uh, I think from 2008, all the die cut actually come with a double die. So you can use uh, all different size jellyfish die cut to create some stencil, which I just get a wonderful idea. Maybe I will create a video to show you guys how to do that. How's that? Okay, so I don't show you how to die cut anymore. So we die cut it and this is uh, my stencil. Make sure it's the right side. Okay, and then I am going to have uh, just uh, my acrylic block here. And then I have uh, this Nouveau transparency clear one. And then I'm just uh, squeeze a little bit here. And then you can wait a little bit, make sure your ink is completely dry. Okay, so I hope it's dry now. Like this. Okay, and then next, you can tape it. Just, just tape it so that I have a more 
I have a free hand. And then the next, you are going to use these expensive wedges. You can get it from the dollar store. Um, these, they design for use one time only. So if you keep it repeating, using it, you can see they kind of folding apart, shit it right away. A lot of people send me an email, always ask me, what's the difference between your magic mushroom? And I say the quality, the quality is different. Okay, so these one, we have a few sides we can use. You can try one side here, turn white side here, 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 here. And remember, please don't use your magic mushroom to do these things because uh, they are glue. You won't be able to clean it. They will dry on your magic mushroom and you are going to spend the money to buy the new one. So give it a good tapping, good amount. Okay. And just leave it. Don't know, can you see the shining side? Let me see. You cannot really see, but that's okay. And then we're going to clean or stencil. Just a wipe off with the wet cloth. And then you can use it again and again and again. So I'm going to just uh, put away. Actually, I'm going to put back to you. Okay, and then while we are waiting these to complete dry, it doesn't take too long. It's actually going to be dry pretty soon. So we are going to color or jellyfish a little bit. Um, you, like I say, you can use any kind of medium to color them. I will just cheat by using or magic mushroom, giving the basic coated. Okay, so I didn't clean my magic mushroom. It was uh, kind of orange. See the way you rubbing it? You push a little bit harder. I always rub for my scrap paper. I don't start directly on the top because I don't want to leave any starting point. So I want to have a very soft, a very smooth uh, blending effect. So try to start with a little bit, not enough. And then we can use this side to add a little bit more gently circle around just like this and then again i don't even bother changing my uh, magic mushroom because we can clean it right so i'm going to do that very nice uh, pink and borrow a little bit on top that's it you know um local king's uh, stamp image like the way i did my design is really different all you have to do is just blending a little bit color on top and it's going to look awesome because the design is not just a single outline it have a shading so that make a difference and then if we want to we can just uh, give it a little bit touch out with uh, any Aqua marker and uh, or water-based markers, anything you like. And uh, recently, I kind of fall in love with coloring. I have a few video, the one I didn't talk, and then <laughs> Margaret thought something wrong with the TV. So look, it's just like that. It's so easy. And then now my basic card is ready now. So let's see what's the magic happen. I'm going to use a little bit light green. Okay. But my magic mushroom probably... I think it's okay. Okay, watch the magic happen. So we're going to start directly on top. See my bubbles? Stay clear. Is that amazing? I think it's an amazing way to do the masking. How do you think? If you think it's a good idea, give me a thumb up. See, if everybody can give me a thumb up or share this video with your friend, I think it will very is help. Uh, it will be very helpful for our marketing. So, how about just click the share button? Let like other people enjoy Local King's uh, YouTube video. So here's a green, here is a purple dot, and then we try to blending two colors together. So you can only blending by drawing a circle, okay? If you only do the tapping, 
you still get that bouncing mark. Okay, try to do the circling in the always clean your working station. Okay, a little bit blue. See, I always uh, testing on my side first. Make sure I don't have uh, too much ink. Okay, and then just by using the same Maybe we add a little bit pink, magenta or pink. Okay, so that's it. You get idea. You can do any color you like. I'm going to clean my surface here. Okay, and then the next is... Uh, this is a sound trick, okay, how we can get a perfect line up, line, line up. So you're going to just uh, put a little bit of tape, and then you fold in your car, and then you put it back like this, like a piece of puzzle, because this was a die cut from that, so it won't have a problem. So that you can get a perfect line up again, and then you can decide you want how you want to decorate your 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 phone page so i'm going to put the one piece here make sure that's that one here and um or sentiment here here the top or on the side so i'm going to just put it on the side and they have a song ribbon handy. Like this. And I have this uh, beautiful ribbon here. See how beautiful it is? So this is the stamp set. It's uh, called the... Uh, you are so jelly. <laughs> Recently, I kind of feel like I'm a Dory, having some memory issue. Like when I go to like a park, like a grocery store parking, before it won't be a, like a big issue. I always remember where I call, like park my car. Now, I kind of have to double check. Sometimes take a picture, make sure <laughs> where, where did I park my car because the few times I, I can't find my car at a parking lot I don't know that huh okay so that's uh, our first uh, second car um, I hope you like it they all look different it's amazing that's why you know when we're on the cruise and the some of our um, or crafter friend buddies they do whatever they like and then it end out their car is just amazing and then one of my bubble have a some kind of blue so you just use the white cloth the kind of white pop Okay, so that's our jellyfish one. The next one is, uh, what is that? Oh, the next one is uh, our bubbles. So this is the uh, our bubbles card. Okay, so the bubbles, this is uh, our bubbles combo set. Um, I designed in 2021. I think the die cut after 2018, they all come with a double. And then this card project is, the, the idea is I want to share with you guys you can use your die cut as a uh, uh, embossing, like a stencil. So here is the card I have here, and this is just a regular, um, not regular, it's actually matte cold cardstock. And then I am grab my jellyfish background. So we're going to have a very light color. I am going to just use a desert sand. And I'm going to just ink mine background stem okay and then here is my card from and I'm going to just go directly on top I'm not going to do any layering so this is how I um, stem my background stem I just found out this is a easier way 
to stamp or you can use a stamp positioner if you worry some boo boo happen okay so that's all background and i'm going to put this one away and then the bubbles come with the two die cut the outline one i cut it with one piece of blue shimming color is that one okay so i use this one and then the i got these two from the show but i didn't pay attention to the wax part so actually they kind of broke i'm wondering do they just sell this part the wax picking tool something like that it does looks nice huh okay and then just clean all my little pieces okay and then i have a piece of regular car star i'm going to put my die cut on top so because uh, our die cut have a lot of this hollow area it does create embossing it's just like before when you want to do the embossing you have to have a light table um a stencil the stylus and the time now all you need is just a piece of rubber when the rubber runs through the um the machine and then they will push because the surface is kind of gummy they will push the paper to this embossing hole so that's how they create the embossing um every machine is different so some machine you probably have to shim in if you have the die cuts like that don't bother because they don't have any design it, it doesn't have embossing okay just in case some of you guys probably don't know the layering so you have your die cut the die cut is face up so when you touch it is to have those kind of die cut line it's not the flat side okay so the die cut line face up and then you put your car on top and you put the piece of rubber on top okay make sure your rubber have to be on top if the rubber is on the bottom the pressure will cut through your rubber how did i know that because it took me two rubber to learn the okay i forgot to mention actually you have to die cut first and the rubber so you die cut it first so that's uh, they die cut it and then you put the rubber and you can see the rubber kind of push the paper to the embossing hole that's how they create the embossing so make sure you die cut first and do the embossing if for anybody you guys know do they sell the refill for this one the wax part please uh, send me a message let me know i think i need to have the replacement okay and let's see the embossing and see how pretty it is okay so that's uh, one of the car and uh, here is another image i did a video to show you guys just something like that embossing in the partially uh, a color so now we are going to doing the color part so i'm going to put them on this one so the color part again we are going to um, cheat a little bit we are going to just uh, do directly with our matching mushroom so it's just fast and easy or you do whatever you prefer so start from the outside i'm going to have a little bit orange color and then clean the my table a little bit and then i am going to just uh, do a little bit blue See how fast uh, the way it color and then I am going to just uh, touch out with a little bit green a beautiful fish just uh, pop out right in front of you again depend on who you are making the car for you can just give a little bit highlighted so I have a light color. I have a darker color. Even though the way, like I like uh, alcohol marker, and I can't believe I say that now, but I still don't want to spend too much time on top. I like the color, it's so solid. 
so bright. Okay. And then remember, the best cleaning for the alcohol marker is to sanitize. Hmm. Smell good. Okay, so least, least, and then I am going to mount it. I Ta-da! That's our third card, and make sure you put somewhere else. Uh, wait until the eyeball completely dry. Okay, so that's working on our last card. Okay, so the last one we are, this is our last project, is a small car that fit the, um, inside this uh, envelope. Okay, so we are going to use uh, this uh, new background stamp, which is a uh, part of uh, this set. And then this stamp image is uh, look like one of our old stamp set, um, background stamps called the Ocean Way, but they are actually reversed. And then I added some kind of border to make this one look like a beach tower. So we are going to use that as our foundation color and then i've been mentioning too many times in my video if you have an old rubber stamp and they don't stamp well anymore what you're going to do is just use a stain block or this one just uh, rubbing the surface a little bit it will bring the life back again try don't use a uh, uh, don't use a uh, don't use it on your clear stamp because it's definitely going to ruin your clear stamp so I'm going to use uh, this uh, Catherine Puller's ink pack. It's a pretty light color. I really wish uh, um, Memento, they can come out with a little bit more different color because their ink pack, such great quality um, ink pack. So I use this uh, very, very light color here. And then I am going to use the one of my... One breeze. And then I'm going to just uh, do a little bit on the border. Okay, not too much. And then I'm going to use my blue magic mushroom to soften that border. Just to give uh, that border a little bit darker color. Both sides. Okay, all you want on the middle a little bit, you can do too. And then um, this is the... The inexpensive car star 65 pounds recollection white car star from Michaels. And then I'm going to just put on top. Just rub on top. Or you can use your stamp positioner, any tool helping you make a better, easy stamp. Look at that beautiful color. You know, that's the fun part of the stamping because. Uh, with the same stamp, same um, die cut, same color, everybody's car is coming out something different. That's why the stamping is so much fun. Okay, and then so here's my basic car. And then I am going to use uh, my beach chair. I already pre-cut it. This is uh, a set I designed also in 2008. Um, it's called uh, Oops. Also, 15 years ago, so if I have a children um, 15 years ago, they should be 15 years old now. Okay, for the coloring, you can do the markers, you can do the watercolor, you can do anything you like. I'm going to share with you something. So, I'm going to just uh, use the, all the leftover ink on my magic mushroom. Okay, first. Or... You can use your markers. Okay. So here is our marker set. The marker set you can use not just on the rubber stand. You can also use the as a coloring tool. So clean the surface first, and have a, a baby water ready. Have a nice uh, paintbrush ready. So there's too many ways to do it. What you can do is you can just color directly on the stamp. I prefer that I die cut it first 
and then coloring just in case if sometimes I, I didn't line up my die cut and then all the hard working coloring part go down to the drain so you die cut it first and then you do the coloring so I kind of use the um, the paintbrush to mix my color you do this and do this and you just use the brush okay or what you can do is you can just put a, a little bit color on your workstation working area and then use that as your palette that's it but let's just do the mark mar i mean the, the marker fast easy and then you can blending directly on top and then the car the car i use is a watercolor paper so it takes the uh, water well if you guys want to do the things i'm showing you make sure and then i just uh, do a little bit brown look at the color very careful right need a lot of skill to do that So just use the brush, kind of like this. It's not piece of little die cut. Like this. Okay, so pink. That's already be pink too. So, you know, we are semi-retired, right? That means that we are not going to order any new inventory such as the markers, mushrooms, die cut. We will still um, create some stamp image because we have the machine. We can still manufacture the rubber stamp and then slowly we are moving to the digital. So anything you like that's all we have because we are not going to reorder anymore okay sometimes if it's on here like accidentally put it too dark what you can do is you can use your gel pen to make it a little bit lighter okay i think that's really good and i'm going to just glue everything i will be right back So here are another four cards that we created on the Local Kings Stamping Cruise last month. Which one is your favorite? And I hope you like it. If you are interested in joining us our 2024 Stamping Cruise, we are taking the reservation now. We only have 24 spots and I know some of them already reserved it. So um, if you cannot join us, uh, don't worry about that. We Next year, I will come out with some um, online workshop for the non-traveler. And uh, this time, I will create, uh, I will provide the kit. So um, you can actually really make all the, the cars too. So it's a lot of preparation for me, but that's okay. So we will definitely do something like that. And uh, for... Some of you guys who is interesting to learn a little bit more about how to use a digital die cut machine, make sure you send me an uh, email and let me know if you are looking for the re for the Memento. All the link is uh, right below, so make sure you check out. If you do like my video, give me a thumb up, let me know. Share at least the awesome channel, awesome video is the best way to support local green rubber stamps and magic mushroom. And I really hope you guys do it. It costs you nothing, just a click, so that way um, other people will get a chance to find a local king rubber stamp. Okay, so that's everything for today, and there is a 25% off coupon code for you if you guys like to order something from our website. It's uh, um, for all the regular prices, and uh, here is the code. Make sure you check it out. So thank you so much for watching. This is Lisa from Local King Rubber Stamp. See you next time. Bye!